I always say just start by being curious. What does he actually want to know about? Maybe there's a sports game that just happened. Maybe there's some political event. Maybe there was an article in the newspaper. What does he actually want to talk about? Ask a question about that. You don't realize that what you can trigger in somebody else with a question. She was dynamic, very energetic, kept everyone on their toes, and uh, really, really entertaining. Very, very good content. Michelle presented things in a really fresh way. She was just really dynamic, funny, cute, but definitely de delivered the punch and a lot of good information. She had such a great personality. She was very engaging. And we're going to look at three laws here. Familiarity, stay in their mind. Giving, that's the most important. How do we give? Because that strengthens the relationship. And then, of course, patience, which is the last chapter, because it's the hardest one. Don't just go to those professional groups. Don't just go to um, the ones that you think you should belong to. Go to the ones that you're actually interested in belonging to. Social media is used and oftentimes abused, but more effectively used in corporations and organizations and how they can successfully use it. And Michelle hits on that. Jenna Lawrence. Jenna Lawrence, are you here? Hi. She connected with me on LinkedIn before today. Her name is in my head right now. So you can connect with somebody before an event to say, hey, I'm looking forward to meeting you at this event. Now I'm going to seek that woman out, right? Because her name is in my head. Nice job. How many people tweet? Steve, tell me why you tweet. Just tweet about you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was not a plant. <laughs> Tiny in size, but amazing in dynamic. Aww. <laughs> I didn't get it at first. But what I can tell you is now that I've started tweeting, it's amazing who I'm connecting to. People I would never connect to. Facebook are really, you can figure out how they know you and how they're connected. And anybody who likes my Facebook page, I can look at them, I look them up, I see who they know, and I was like, oh, that's how they found me. Twitter, I don't know how they do it. But I'm meeting all these people that I would have never met otherwise. And then when they follow me, I will actually say, you know, thanks for following me, and I'll say something about them. I'll go to their website, I'll take a few seconds to look at their description, their website, their mission, some of their tweets, and I will actually say something specific and personal about them. And then a conversation happens back and forth. I enjoyed Michelle's quirkiness or funniness the most, and, and she led you into some great information, but she kept it simple, kept it fast, kept it funny. Her ideas with Google, uh, and other technology uh, apps was fantastic. I can't wait to get back to my office to start using them. Giving. This is often what challenges people because I really do believe that people want to give. If they can do something for somebody else, they want to do that. But they just don't always know how or what. And so I'm going to give you some ideas here. The three I's. Introduce, invite, inform. She's the kind of speaker that I really couldn't take my eyes off of and listen to every word and try to just absorb her energy and enthusiasm and all of her wisdom. I met Amy when I was um, at Columbia Women in Business, my first ever time I went there. I wasn't a speaker yet. And she was. And I was like, this woman is awesome. And then I said, can I take you out to lunch? And she gave me two hours of her time for me to pick her brain. And I thought, well, how am I ever going to give back? And this is where patience comes in. Because I couldn't. I'm sitting at the gym at my kid's school, and she walks by. And she's like, Michelle, it's Amy. Oh my god! It was one of those. We sat there and started chatting for over an hour. And I just said, I just wrote about you. She's looking at me like, what are you talking about? Because she had no idea I was writing a book. And. I said, you know, it was because of you that you sat with me that I have sat with over 100 people who have wanted to start their own businesses. And she just kind of, she literally lost her breath for a moment. And I get a little choked up because it was a really special moment. And one of the things that you can give when you have nothing else is appreciation. You can give recognition. You can give credit. And that's what I gave to Amy. So be patient with yourself. Always look for those opportunities but be okay that you can't do them yet. Michelle is an extremely energetic, dynamic speaker. She gave some tremendously useful tips today, and I thought that she really, her stories just make everything so personal, and they brought every example that she gave to life, and it made it feel like, I see how this is so important and useful. What I liked about her style was the fact that she shared stories, and that was the reason why I was able to relate to a lot of the things that she was talking about. And so here's what I want you to also think about 
is that patience with allowing the relationship to grow. Sometimes we don't click instantaneously, but when we see potential or we have that interest and desire to connect with this person, give it time. I'm gonna tell you my mom's rule of dating. She used to tell me this when I was in high school. Give a guy three chances, Michelle. If on the first date you're having a bad time, he's having a bad day. If on the second date you're having a bad time, you're having a bad day. If on the third date you're having a bad time, well, you gave it a shot. Okay. I don't know if three is the magic number, but when it comes to relationships, give it more than one. I made some, some good notes for myself, definitely. I love that view that she put forth, that it's about the long-term relationship. I love that. That's very helpful and comforting. I want you to think about networking not as need, because we're not networking for need. We're not networking for now. You are building relationships that will sustain you. You are networking for life. Because the network that you build because you want to, because you get to, that's the one that will sustain and carry you through.